So today we will learn about the use of properties. Um, it is most frequently asked question during the interviews. So you might have seen uh, in others code or you might be doing it yourself that whenever you have a class uh, you declare many properties using get and set like this. So for example we have employee class and we have declared three properties first name last name address. Now you might be wondering that why we need to do this, why we need to declare a string with get and set rather than that you could have it declared it using a simple variable like we are doing it for a salary and uh, you might have heard that it is not a good practice to declare it as a public a variable, uh, you should have a property instead. So what is the difference? So let's discuss about that. Suppose you have one class library called as organization in which we have three different classes company employee and manager So what you're doing is you are putting your business logic in it and you are selling a DLL to third party uh, any third cl party client who will be using your classes and business logic suppose let's say this client is the console application that is using your organization DLL. So what the client does is in the reference he can add the DLL provided by you so that in his code he is able to use your classes. Now what he is doing is using organization and then all your classes and methods that you are providing as a public are now accessible to the client that is fine. So what he has done is he created employee object and use the properties provided by you to assign some values. Now suppose he wants to assign a salary. So for salary as you can see this is not a property but it is a field that you have made it as public directly. So what he does is e dot salary is equal to something. He set it and now the employee object is usable by him now so you see no difference in using a direct variable versus a property what is the difference now so what we are doing is when we make a variable public we give a full access without any control to whoever is using it so once you have declared it public float salary you have no control over how somebody is going to use that so for example what the client can do successfully is can assign some negative value value to the salary which is not actually correct in terms of business logic right but you cannot do anything about it so what can be done so for example let's try to create a property for a salary so just right click on it click on quick actions and refactoring so encapsulate the field and it will automatically create the getter and setter for you internally using the salary field but as you can see that this has made the salary variable as a private okay so the client cannot use that salary variable directly as it was previously so it is not visible rather than that he can view the salary as property okay so now suppose we'll use a property and set a negative value okay so even though after we declare a property he is able to assign incorrect value to it so now what is the difference uh, between the declaring public field and keeping the field private and instead providing a public property. So here you have created a point of control where you can control how the value can be set or get of a particular variable. So here at this point client is trying to set the negative value here what you can do is you can check if value is less than zero what you want to do is you don't want to set it but instead we can write something to the user cannot assign 
negative salary okay and in else case you can declare whatever value as it is to the salary okay so in case of negative value we are not going to assign it all right so let's come back here so here he is trying to assign negative value let's run the application and now you can see that when he tries to do something wrong uh, we are able to control the flow of the data or business logic and we are able to display the error to the user so here we are not giving direct control we are not uh, telling him that you can do anything what you want to do with this variable but you have to do it in a certain manner so we have the control over things now so by providing getters and setter you get more control over the your fields and this is how it is supposed to be for vital applications like banking applications where you don't want to expose um, or uh, make some fields editable by third party user to whom you are providing your DLL. Okay, so that is it about the properties. Thank you.